Good morning, growers and sideline observers. This is Mark Snell from uh, Sweet Mandolin's Urban Farm, and the date is January 18th, 2020. So I want to show you what I've been uh, doing today. Picked up from Greg Peterson's Urban Farm Project some uh, some apricot trees and uh, pluary and six grape vines a raspberry bush and so far I've got my Katie apricot in the ground I just want to show you what I had to do to prepare it um, in my junkyard which is going to be uh, all fruit trees eventually all this rock is going to be moved out uh, underneath starting from the house over here underground where I have my watering pipes all the way over to the corner where my starfruit tree and my avocado tree are. I dug a trench a little over a foot deep and filled it with a river rock. And so it goes all the way to the house. And eventually I'll put up a gutter system and uh, a downspout into it. And I've already tested it, so it's uh, a viable uh, working aqueduct. I drained my whole pool basically in that aqueduct and all it did was water my trees and the water never came to the surface stayed underground but uh, now what I do is the first thing I did right right in here I dug a trench and I'm gonna lay my my pipe on there for my watering system but all that river rock is in there and so it'll go right to the roots of my apricot trees here just like it does all my other trees the mulberry and I dig a square hole deep enough to put those uh, giant rootstock in. But I amend my soil, so I basically use 50% native soil. And I got some pretty good soil right here because there used to be some growth here before years ago. I guess they had some trees back here they cut down and put all rock in here. But uh, I amend the soil with 25% uh, compost, 50% native soil. And the other 25% is sand and lava rock. And I got that for free, and I'll show you that in a second. Over here in the corner by my where my pool is, they had all those blocks, a block wall. And they tried to put something in there. I don't know what it was for, but it was about three feet high. But it was filled with sand and lava rock, which is a perfect soil amendment for drainage and minerals. So I've been just using that for my soil amendment because it's free. You don't have to buy anything. And so that's the fourth part. Plus I add um, lots of azomite and uh, mycorrhiza fungi to get that fungal growth to attach to the roots of the trees and help the growth and uh, nutrient to the trees. And back over by the house on the corner, this gets a lot of shade, but um, in the spring through fall, it'll get morning and afternoon sun. So it's not going to get overpowered by sun, but it should get the perfect amount for my strawberry guava, which will give me a nice edible fruit here. And it'll be a nice landscape ornamental also but uh, it's got really good fruit and over along uh, Mandy's she shed she picked out some roses so I got some uh, rose bushes planted in the ground there so this uh, the front here we've colorful with roses and I got a couple of uh, hanging pots probably put on each side of the window here plugging with flowers so I make the she shed more of a pretty little house for the girls. And this is going to be next. This is where I'll be putting up some posts, wire, put up those six grape vines, finish the watering system for it, and uh, deep mulch it. We're all going to have uh, a really nice great vine on the back wall probably put those vines up about five feet so 
that's my next project I gotta put in the ground plus the blackberry bushes and the raspberry bushes I have coming get those in the ground around the landscape one more thing I wanted to show you is uh, just lost the leaves on here this January as it got cold and there's uh, lots of fruit buds and they're fruit buds because it's getting full sun right now it's gonna be in the 70s all week but look at this got mulberries there's some mulberries over there a mulberry there this thing wants to fruit already and it's only January so it tells me that come March and April when this starts budding out it's gonna give me a lot of fruit can't wait can't wait for this one too those mulberries are two to three inches long not Pakistani so a lot of good things growing around here